apartment in Palo Lampur. As soon as you enter through the door, you walk up like 12 to 15 steps. I know, crazy. And here's the little desk work area. You got the bed with a decent view here. Come into the kitchen, got a mini fridge, some closet space, uh, cabinetry, cooking stuff here, TV on the wall. I got my own washer here, which is a lifesaver because I do laundry about like every other day. And this is the bathroom, just a decent sized bathroom, good enough for one person. And let's check out the view. Let's see what we got working here. Let's go on the balcony, unlock here and go through. Nice little private balcony area. And oh wow, you got a good view of uh, the Petronas Towers and a good decent spot downtown. And it's very, very private because you got these walls here that block the view. You can do whatever up here and just hang out. And I pay about $450 a month here. And some people tell me that's like pretty expensive for KL. I mean, I did find it on Airbnb. So anytime you find things on Airbnb, you are getting, you know, the, the higher end of uh, paying, the higher end of the deal because you have to pay like the service fee, the insurance, all that is like bundled in together. But I don't think it's that bad. I have a ton of amenities on the roof that we'll check out. This is my gym area here with a sick view of downtown. And it's just freaking breathtaking. It's amazing here. And you got the leg workout stuff. You got the treadmill with the sick view. A couple ellipticals and some bike machines. I could totally see myself waking up here in the morning and getting a good workout in and then jumping in the pool over there. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, this is my pool area. It's got three jacuzzis and a wrap around infinity pool with such a sick view. Let's see the water, let's see if it's warm. Ooh, it's nice and warm and chill. But I really love looking at this building right here. Oh, and that one's cool too, the architecture today, but there's Petronas Towers right there. And wow, what a good view right here. I'm gonna go around the corner and we got a sauna, we got a steam room. Also, this area leads to the gym. Here's like the shower area. You got like this is like sauna, steam room and stuff. You got the yoga deck, indoor dining. Yeah, super, super cool and super chill. Great place to start your morning off. And even like if you're working from home, this place is awesome. You can rent a car in KL, but it's just like so cheap to get a Grab and use their public transportation. Everything is so well connected. I just called this Grab. It's like a dollar fifty to go like four miles, four and a half miles, which is Pretty good, pretty really pretty good. It's like Vietnam, Vietnam prices, and that's a car, and that's not not like, that's not a motorbike. That's actually like a full-on car with AC, and you're pretty comfortable in it. So I'm gonna show you guys the train station in Kuala Lumpur, the Ampang Park station, and uh, show you how I get on and off the train and just how convenient it is. I think I'm gonna go to the mall and get like an SD card or something. I just want to know, like, can you live in Kuala Lumpur with like four thousand ringgit a month? Uh huh. You could. It's it's doable. Yeah. It's doable. Before I get on the train, I want to show you guys this store right here. It's called a smart store. You come in, scan your face. It scans my face. And then you come in and then you can shop all this stuff. And you can check out right here. These are kind of pricey though. 75 cents for these. Skittles are like 75 cents. And the NEMs are 75 cents. For and then you do this, take it out. <laughs> so cool. Such a cool concept. In Chicago, this place would get licked in a second. So quickly. But in Malaysia, they are based more on the honest policy, the honesty policy. And people are really respectful, very clean, very modest. There's not really that much like petty theft uh, in the areas that I'm in. But yeah, we're going to go on the train here. And I'm going to show you guys how I get on the train, as well as like how much I pay for my train pass. Okay, this is the Ampang Park train station. So funny because in Malaysia, people stand on the left side, but in Chicago, we stand on the right side. So it's like a different little bit of a cultural shock. Okay, when you get off the escalators, you go over there to pay, but I just want to show you guys how insanely big this place is. It's like super hollowed out, so wide and so much space for people to walk. It's kind of dystopian uh, feeling because when some days there's not a lot of people that are coming in and out from work, this place is just empty. 
and it makes you feel like you're just living alone, which is kind of weird. But I'm gonna go pay over there at the guy and uh, I'll tell you guys how much it costs. Okay, just FYI, I already bought this train card thing that gives you unlimited passes. You pay like a one time 20 ringgit, which is like four or five US dollars and you use it like unlimited amount of times because you just have to preload it with uh, the money, the cash. So I'm not gonna pay for the actual card, but I'm just gonna pay for uh, like a one day, all day train pass here. Hi, can I do a uh, one day pass? I'm gonna pay, I don't know, I think it's... Ten, 10 ringgit. Okay, can I pay it with cash, 50 ringgit? Here you have like where your exit is, and this is platform two. So you just saw me get on two escalators down. This place gets uh, way more deeper. You go down like another set of escalators. So let's go to platform one, because I think I should be going to the mall here. I can't even pronounce the exit. I only know the letters. It's so hard to pronounce. It's like Kazaku, Kazakviku, I don't know. Oh, uh, here. Platform one to Putra Aja, which I was totally wrong, but that's the first stop, Putra Aja. And then you take these sets of escalators all the way down. But check this one out. This one is gnarly. Look how freaking, look how freaking long this escalator is. And then you have another one here. It's like one of those art, paintings that are like going up and down with the staircases but you end up in the same place yeah i feel like i can just jump from here to over there and you see like i'm on the left side and people are passing me on the right side so just try oh it even goes even deeper so there's another set of escalators that go down there to another platform and here's like another set of escalators so it's kind of like a maze but once you get it once you know where you're going but you are so deep underground that it's so weird to think about and there's the train right there so i pay 10 ringgit for my unlimited day trade pass that's about two us dollars for unlimited uh connection with the train and taking it everywhere so we're going to get on the train here and then we're going to go to the mall and we're just going to be chilling here You get a deal? Okay, yeah, this one very good. Pistachio Ballerilla. Okay, I'll take that one. Cool. So 15 ringgit, right? For four. Thank you so much. Man, people are so nice here. Okay, I'm a slob. I have all my money on the table and I need to put it in my pocket. It's like I was a it's like when I was a pizza driver, I had all these cash tips and I was just coming home with just wads of cash in my pocket. 
and they have all these other stuff, white chocolate cream. Follow up board just has amazing food and a lot of select. Okay, here you go. That's mine, and this here. All right. Let's get my change, and then we're gonna go taste the food. Let's eat the ring. Oh my God, so freaking good. This one is chill to eat because it's so soft. The other ones were a little hard on my teeth. This one, the cream, is like, it tastes like white chocolate. And the outside tastes like a funnel cake made out of baklava. So imagine like a really thin layered baklava with a white chocolate filling. Very good. All right. This one was the one with the gum. I keep saying gum, but it's not gum. It's like taffy. It's like caramel taffy with a pistachio wrap. Wow. That's good. That's really good. All I know is my teeth though, I feel it on my teeth. And it makes you it makes you suck your like makes you suck your teeth real bad because it's like it's sweet, but it's also kind of tough to eat. So you're like always doing this. Like you're like, um, got something in your tooth. Kuala Lumpur is so established. They even have an Ashley's home furniture. They really have like every store here. KFC over there, McDonald's. This is a sick view right here with the train going through the, the city. It's so metropolitan. I feel like if I were to describe like a city, this would be like more of a city, ju uh, just as much of a city as Chicago and Bangkok. Okay, I made it to the heart of KL in the KLCC Park, in the park right by Petronas Towers. And it is busy, there's so many people here. And I'm gonna go through this crowd right here, taking a photo, just trying to pass by. We're stuck in traffic, but I'm here in KL, in the center, and there's the towers right there, and there's a beautiful park right here with the river, everyone's dressed up and all ethnic. Before I get positive more attention to myself, excuse me, let's get out of here. I was feeling a little bit of anxiety going through that, but we are in KL, we are in the heart of the city, right next to the towers. Uh, people are um, dressed up in uh, traditional outfits, I think. I don't know too much about it, but they look pretty cool. They're swagged out. And uh, what's it called? I'm just like enjoying the views, enjoying the vibes. I'm trying to find an area to chill, maybe like drink my water and just like take in the views. But wow, this place is so clean, so beautiful. The only con is it's so hot. I'm sweating through my shirt. It is humid, but I love seeing the palm trees. I am such a palm tree guy. I do love the water, and I see lots of water here, especially with the fountains. That's sick. Oh, wow. Look at the tower. This is huge. G absolutely gigantic. Definitely the centerpiece of the city. And then they built this park around it, which is super cool.